Hey guys, so this is going to be a review of this week's Teen Wolf. If you haven't seen it yet, I suggest you leave now because I'm going to be talking about spoilers. The spoilers are going to start now. So this week was intense. Uh, can we just talk about how much I love Mason first off? Because I am just absolutely in love with him. He's adorable and I'm, I'm greatly enjoying <laughs> Mason's commentary on all this. He's just loving it all and I, I'm loving it too. Also, I've kind of been liking Liam lately I don't know he's he's I started to like him this season which I really wasn't liking him you know last season and I'm starting to like him whatever so a lot I kind of feel like a lot will happen this week let's just where do I want to start um Styles is apparently in contact with Brayden about the desert wolf thing which I guess someone had to be in contact with Brayden so I guess Styles was the best choice, I guess. I don't know. But he's kind of with Brayden, which is good. Because, you know, I just want to know who the Desert Wolf is. I'm just, I'm so ready to know who the Desert Wolf is. And just be done with it. Um, speaking of the Desert Wolf and her daughter, uh, Malia did more driving, which was pretty, I, I'm intrigued by it because obviously it's showing that she has beat the, she is, has like, PTSD from the whole accident thing and but I the scene was cute but also kind of like uh, you know showing us that she does have like residual effects from the car accident and I assume they're trying to make me like her more by giving her like you know backstory and stuff but I'm trying to like her okay I really am okay just deal with it. Uh, Lydia found more dead bodies, which is, you know, Lydia's thing, clearly. Uh, li oh, Lydia at the end there. Oh, Lydia made me dead. I, oh, I don't, obviously she's not because we saw an icon house at the beginning of the season, but like, she got like stabbed or like, yeah, she got stabbed. Kind of, I think, or scratched. But like, real badly. Lots of blood. Uh, by who, you ask? The Canima. We got a fucking Canima. I'm really excited about it. Uh, Canimas are great. I very much enjoy the Canima. Which was Tracy, by the way. Tracy was a Canima, not a werewolf. Uh, and then they killed her. <laughs> which was really sad. The Dread Doctors did. Which was kind of sad. I really like Tracy. I was hoping they could help her. I thought Lydia could help her. And it would all be good. But no. What they do, they killed her off. Because why? Because they hate me. Because I liked Tracy. However, we have Hayden. Who I also do like, but I think she was, well, no, we know that. She got, like, well, before Tracy died, she, like, gripped Hayden, and I think she scratched her. Or look, she scratched her, and then the scratch instantly healed. So either A, she's already a werewolf, which I think is very unlikely, or B, she is now going to be something, which will be interesting. So I'm excited to see that, because I like Hayden. But then Hayden's like legit gonna kill Liam now because she's gonna turn into something evil, I'm sure. Uh, what else? Oh, Liam got some help from Brett because they're looking into if Tracy was from another pack, which she wasn't, obviously. And she got some help from Brett, he, or he got some help from Brett. And they went back to the, um, <laughs> the hole. And there is more than one hole, which means there's like kind of like more than one grave or like burial site. Which means there could be a ton of them. There could be a ton of different experiments. Not just, you know, Tracy and... What was his name? Belos... Be Belos... Beloski? Something? Something like that. The blue haired... The blue... Light up guy. Glow stick werewolf from, like, the other week. Uh, so... There could be so many more experiments. And then we haven't even touched on the guy in the tube. I just... I really want to know who the guy in the tube is. Could it be Harris? I'm convinced Harris isn't dead. I'm convinced Harris is just still out there searching around somewhere, just doing evil things. I just, I can feel it. I just, I know it. Uh, what else was there? Tracy died. We got that. Hayden. To be, talk about the Desert Wolf already? I think we did. Yes, we did. Ooh, uh, the Mountain Ash. So, Deaton used Mountain Ash. This was all before Tracy died, of course. And Styles was not having it. He did not seem very happy about the Mountain Ash. And I don't know. Clearly, you know, Styles is something. Styles is something. 
Uh, I think I did a video on styles being something a while ago. I'll, I'll link that below if I can find it. But he's something. I'm pretty sure I did a therapy on that. Yeah. Styles is something. And he did not seem very keen, especially I want to be after the Nogitsune incident from last season. Something still, you know, being in him. And maybe he even knows that. And he was not very happy by that. So we have that. And then was that it? I think that was it for tonight, wasn't it? Wait, did I talk about oh, did I talk about Stalinsky and um Lydia's mom dating? <sighs> Not what I wanted, but I'll take it. You know, I want him with Melissa. I think everyone wants him with Melissa. It's like the obvious choice. But he went with Lydia's mom. So which kind of was cute because, you know, they're married in real life, so, like, that's kind of adorable, but he's, like, to to totally be with Melissa. So, there's that. And I feel like there's one more thing I want to talk about, but I didn't. The Dread Doctors. They are glitchy. They've been, gl they've been glitchy since they've appeared, and they were still glitchy this episode, and, you know, and at the end, when Malia's seeing them, they even, uh, when they're leaving after they killed Tracy she they they disappear like they're not really there or like i don't know i'm between either gl them them being like a glamour for something or the mirror verse which we've had other incidents where things have been very very different from how they were seconds prior to scene where uh if you here's 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 a short story about mirror verse We've had several scenes where it, stuff has been happening and then they've cut away for a brief second and they've gone back to the same exact spot and the scene or the the decor in the background has been completely changed. Like things have been added, things have been removed, rooms have been painted different colors. Like things have just completely changed in weird ways. And yeah, that's Mirrorverse. And I really like the theory Mirrorverse. Um... Just, just go, go go look up more detail Mirrorverse because it's there's some great stuff and I I like it. Also, I kind of you know I'm just throwing it out there, but like time travel. I don't know, you know. I'm just throwing it out there. I don't think time travel is a thing. Like I don't even know how they would put time travel into the Teen Wolf unless they did through like the Mirrorverse. But like, yeah. So. That was Teen Wolf this week. Oh, well, actually, there's Donovan. I kind of want to briefly touch on Donovan because Donovan's going to, like, probably go after Stalinsky and uh, Styles, and he's going to turn into something because the Dread Doctors got to him, so Donovan's going to be something. So, I don't know what, but he's going to be something. Everyone's something, you know? So, that was Teen Wolf this week. If you have any thoughts or theories about the episode, I'd love to hear about them. And thanks for watching.